In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today, we're sweeping hay. Today, we're gonna sweep our hay. And what that means is, we just go through the wind rows. Yesterday, we, uh, we raked it all into wind rows. And today, we're gonna use a hay sweep and sweep it up. Now, you could go back and shovel it with a hay fork and put it in the back of a trailer or a truck or, or whatever. But we don't do it that way. I don't. I used to do it that way. I tried it that way. I put a my pallet forks. You can check out the pallet fork video. Uh, I put pallet forks on my tractor and a pallet, and I would go through with a hay fork, a hand operated hay fork, and pick up the hay and throw it on the pallet. And then when I got a full pallet, I would take it where I was going to put it and offload it with a hay fork. Well, that's a lot of hard work, especially for an old fat guy. So I decided that I was going to do something about that. Well, three or four tries later, I finally hit upon a system that I could use to pick up my hay without having to have all that work. So here's what I came up with. This right here is my homemade hay sweep. Now it's made out of fence pickets. I tried a lot of different things. Uh, pressure treated fence pickets. I bought a bunch cheap. I mean really cheap, like a quarter a piece. A bunch of them. So I just had some scrap pressure treated two befores laying around and I made this the size of the bucket on my tractor. Now where these corner blocks are, my tractor bucket fits right between those corner blocks. So I'll show you how I connect it. I just connect it with two ratchet straps and uh, then I use it to sweep hay and I'll show you that as soon as the dew burns off. Here's how I attach it to my tractor. I just bring the bucket down close to the ground and then I push this back up under. It's really light so there's no big deal about getting it under and I pull it back until that first two before is under. Now I just reach up and pull up my ratchet straps and fasten them on the bucket. But I always do it inside the forks that way they can't slip off. Or inside the lift arms of my tractor that way they can't slip off. And pull this one up and connect it. Now pull the strap up. Run it in. Now I've been using these same straps for three years. Now I'll come back, I've got my bucket at a little bit of an angle, I'll tighten them down like this and then I'll start the tractor, raise the bucket and finish tightening them. That's it. I'm ready to sweep hay. Now when the hay, uh, when the hay, the sun has dried the dew off this morning, I'll go up and sweep that off. But I think what I'm going to do, you'll notice there's a tooth missing. I think I'll just go down to the shop and take the two screws out of that tooth and put a new tooth on. 
But the truth is, this sweep will do just fine missing a tooth. Okay, folks, the dew is burned off uh, enough that I can pick up my hay. Now, the deal is, when it comes to hay, unless you're going to take your hay off your farm, there's no reason to bale it. Baling just makes it easier to transport hay. Uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to do what the old timers did. I'm going to sweep my hay. Now, they used horses to sweep hay, uh, but I'm going to use a tractor to sweep it. Uh, my rake may not rake up good enough for a baler, but it rakes up just fine for this. So it's a little hard to control the, the camera and control the bucket as I'm traveling down the row, but I will try and let you see how this is done, and then uh, you'll know how we take care of our hay but you'll be riding on the tractor with me. It's a little hard for me to control all of this at once. It may cause me to break a tine on my on my uh, sweep. But now I've replaced a tine this morning, th two screws and a and a new piece of uh, pressure treated lattice or decking deck what two by two piece of pressure treated two by two. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that and let you come along for the ride. Okay, folks, here we are on the tractor. And you'll notice I've got a pretty good wind row. This one's not great, but I'll sh try and show you. You lay the, the tines down where they're just raking the, in the grass. And then you put your tractor in gear and you go. Now, you'll notice I got some of it picked up. I'll raise up. Let that fall back, back off a little, and then pick up this larger batch. It's real hard to do one-handed. Okay, now I'll take this and dump it where I want it to be. And maybe right there is just as good a place as any. And this is where I'll bring all of my hay and dump. Now let's go get another one. Here's one that's not as well defined. Down with the rake. Okay, I got it started wrong. This is real hard to do one-handed. There's one. There we go. Now just take this over here where I want my pile. And drop it. 
uh, compress it down a little and go back and get another load. And this continues on until I've got it all picked up. I've got about half my field picked up, the first field. And uh, behind me is my hay pile with the tractor in view for perspective so you can get an idea of how big it really is. Uh, I've still got about half of this field to pick up and then two other smaller fields and then my orchard. So this is how you can do hay on a small operation. Now, if this hay had been intended anything but mulch, I would have taken this hay and put it in my goat barn. Now my goat barn is designed, I haven't got it done yet, but it's designed, I've got the center section, I need to do the wings. It's designed to have one wing for the goats and one wing for the hay. So it'll have a built-in hay maw that, that'll be about 20 by 12 or by 11. So it'll have a hay maw that size that I can store all of my hay for the year. Will I have to buy some? Maybe, I don't know. We'll wait and see when the goats get here. All right, here's what it looks like. All right, I'll see you next time. I'd like to thank you for visiting with us at College Hill Farm today. I hope you found our videos entertaining and, and or informative. Uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment on both Facebook and YouTube. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.